So how is it going guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a bit of a secret weapon in Nuka World known as Aternus. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not entirely sure but this is a very unique legendary Gatlin laser that has the legendary prefix known as unlimited ammo capacity. However, this weapon's a lot more unique than you would think, like this weapon genuinely has unlimited ammo like this is an unlimited ammo Gatlin laser you know usually with the prefix unlimited ammo capacity uh, it just means that you'll never have to reload the weapon whereas this one uh, is very very unique and it actually has unlimited ammo which makes it a very cool weapon to obtain not only for collectors out there but just for generally how good this weapon actually is. Now obtaining the weapon is a little bit tricky because the quest line to get it seems to be very buggy and it's actually done through the quest known as a moral combat. Now the problem with the moral combat is there's like 10 different versions of the quest and essentially how the quest plays through uh, is somebody is going through the gauntlet to fight you being the overboss so sort of roles reversed you know when you first arrive to nuka world you have to go through the gauntlet and kill colter uh, the overboss and then you eventually become overboss and essentially this quest line is the same thing happening but just roles reversed and um to get the quest it's sort of random some people get it randomly when playing through nuka world and uh, basically they just walk around and the alarms will go off and then somebody from uh, nuka town usa will come up to you and say do you hear those alarms going off somebody is coming through the gauntlet but if you're like me and have played through like 90% of Nuka World without even receiving this quest, you may not have even known this quest existed. So, although it's a little bit weird on how to trigger this, I'm going to take you guys through exactly how I got this to trigger every single time and uh, what I did and hopefully this does work for you. But I can never know at this point because again, the quest seems to be buggy and you'll learn more about that throughout the video. So, let me take you guys back to the beginning here. I played through 90% of Nuka World and didn't get this quest. You know, the quest, the moral combat, I didn't even hear of this until I saw the official Fallout wiki. So I was like, well, how do I get the quest? We'll just walk around Nuka Town and somebody will randomly give it to me. How does this initially trigger? And I pretty much set out to find how this triggered. And what triggered this for me, I'll take you guys through exactly how I did this. I initially, this was the very first time I traveled back to the Commonwealth using the Nuka World Transit or Monorail because I usually fast travel to the Commonwealth using the, the marker on the map, just makes things quicker and stuff. So initially, I went back to the Commonwealth using the Monorail. As soon as I went back to the Commonwealth, I turned straight back around, used the Monorail again to go straight back to Nuka World. Again, at this point, I'm trying to figure out what triggers the quest to spawn. And I don't know if using the Monorail has anything to do with it, but what I do know has something to do with it, at least for me, was going straight back through the gauntlet so as soon as i arrived at nuka world again i ran the whole gauntlet from top to bottom now of course you've already done the gauntlet before so you know all the traps and stuff aren't going to be there anymore you can literally just run and speed run straight through the whole thing and that's what i did i ran through the whole thing top to bottom entered the cola cars arena then exited to nuka world and as soon as i did this one of the pack members walked straight up to me and gave me the quest known as a moral combat so at this point, I now know that running the gauntlet again is what triggered it for me. So uh, again, going through the Immortal Combat quest here, you know, when you first get it, you'll be asked to talk to Fritch or whatever the guy's name is. I can never pronounce his name properly uh, in the Nuka Cade. And upon doing so, he will explain to you that somebody is going through the gauntlet. Do you want to go ahead and fight him or do you want to set him free? At this point, you want to go ahead and fight the dude. Do not set him free because it will automatically fail the quest. And when you choose to fight the dude, you will then be asked to enter the Cola Cars Arena uh, to fight off against this dude. You know, again, this is similar to uh, before. You know, this guy has just run through the gauntlet and he's ready to fight you. So when you arrive at Cola Cars Arena, you may notice it's a complete random. You're walking to the arena. You have all these guys that are coming to watch the fight. And um, here is where it gets a little bit buggy. So when the fight has initiated, the dude was just standing there for me like I could have shot this dude down in seconds before he even realized what was going on so I waited till the dude pulled out his weapon I just you know, wanted to make sure everything was correct and I killed the dude straight away and boom when you kill him the quest on moral combat then ends and that's the thing with this Amaro Combat quest, is that it's one of those continuous quests. Like, when it ends, you can get the quest again, and essentially, every time you do the Amaro Combat quest, a different challenger will come through the gauntlet and fight off against you. And the challenger you're looking for is the legendary Rogue Knight. 
so you pretty much have to keep doing the quest of Mortal Kombat over and over and over again until you get the rogue knight to actually fight against you and he will be the guy who is carrying the Eternus legendary Gatlin laser. Well, how do you get the quest to spawn again? Here is what a lot of people are asking and again, here is what kept triggering it for me. This time, to, to get it again, I just fast travelled to the Nuka station. I didn't go back to the Commonwealth or anything like that, just fast travelled straight to the Nuka station. I walked up the stairs and ran through the gauntlet again. Ran through the whole thing, top to bottom, just speed running. And lo and behold, at the very, very end of it, as soon as I entered the Kolokars Arena again, I got the quest on Moral Combat again. So at this point, I'm just repeating it. You know, go ahead and talk to Fritch in Nukacade, then head back to the Kolokars Arena and fight off against the next challenger. Once I killed him, the quest ended, and I did the exact same thing again and again and again. Kept running through the gauntlet at the very end of it in the Kolokars Arena, a moral combat kept popping up for me. So I did this around five or six times. I can't quite remember how many times I actually completed the quest, but I kept doing it over and over again, kept completing the Immortal Combat quest on it until eventually the dude, you know, known as the Rogue Knight, finally spawned for me. And at this point, I'm ready to fight this dude. You know, the, again, the quest seems to be buggy. They just don't want to fight you. I sort of do suggest is that you don't shoot the dude until he pulls out his weapon because the weapon he pulls out will be the Eternus. That's what you want to wait for. So just wait until he pulls out his weapon. Maybe gun button him a little bit or something if the, you know, the quest is bugging out for you as well. And then when he pulls out the weapon, that's when you can go ahead and kill him. So just go ahead and do that. And then, of course, once you kill him, he will then drop the Eternus legendary, unique, and secret weapon uh, being the unlimited ammo Gatlin laser and that my friends is how I was able to get this weapon now I do want to mention again because of how bugged this quest was for me I don't know if, if you're gonna be able to trigger the quest the same way I did I'm just putting that out there because uh, you know just from my personal experience this, this is a very buggy quest so I don't know if my trigger will be the same as yours but you know my trigger was just keep running through the gauntlet so hopefully that will be the same for you. Hopefully this video guide has helped you guys in some way uh, from being able to obtain this weapon. You know, again, some people get the quest randomly when walking around Nuka Town, but if you're like me and haven't seen the quest before, you may have to find, you know, a manual trigger for it, which for me, of course, was running through the gauntlet. One more thing I do want to mention, I'm not entirely sure if you have to have completed the quest power play uh, to get this quest. I've seen a few people where they had the Immoral Combat quest uh, before completing it, but I don't know for the initial Rogue Knight to spawn whether or not you had to have completed power play which is one of the final missions that you would do in, in nuka world so again i'm not entirely sure i mean you can try this before then uh, but if you don't seem to be getting it working before then try and complete the quest power play and uh, hopefully it will work for you from that point onwards also if you guys figure out anything else to do with this quest that is worth noting down put it in the comment section below and uh, also anyone out there as well make sure you thumbs it up uh, so that everybody else can see that uh, so we get a little bit more info surrounding this quest in general but anyway, hopefully it did a pretty decent job of explaining how to get this weapon. It definitely is a very cool weapon to obtain, you know, just for the unlimited ammo alone. It does seem though for the unlimited ammo to work, you have to have a few co fusion cores in your inventory. However, it just won't drain them at all. It just won't use any ammo or anything like that. So it's very weird. It, it's just a very weird weapon in general. Very weird quest line and one that I thought was definitely worth bringing to you guys today. Now... After this, to wrap up all of the Nuka World weapons, because there's still a bunch I haven't yet covered on the channel, uh, some are basic, some are more, I guess, advanced, I'm going to be doing a top 10 rare and unique weapons that you can find in Nuka World, you know, just to wrap up the ones that I haven't covered yet, and to sort of compile all of the ones in general into one sort of hub video for you guys, because I know that a lot of you guys out there do like the top 10 and top 5 list that I do on Fallout. And also, starting next week, I will be, you know, bringing out some more mod videos. I know a lot of people have been asking for that. And the main reason why I even slow down on the mod videos is because I'm sort of waiting for the release of PS4 mods. Whenever that will be, and I hopefully Bethesda will release some more information surrounding that very, very soon here. But quick update for you guys there in regards to the channel. As always, hope you guys did enjoy this video today or did find it helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below, guys. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the videos. Subscribe if you guys are new around for videos similar to this, and I will catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.